Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming out soon and I thought I would show a tour of my new leaf town which I have played over 1000 hours in. So this is just the front of my house with the happy home um, gold exterior design that you get after achieving 1.1 million points. And let's just go inside. So this is the first room. I'm using the modern wood furniture set. Almost every single piece is customized by Cyrus and I just have a ATM machine here to make it more easy to withdraw and deposit money and I have a please remove your shoes sign but I'm just gonna keep my shoes on. So this next room is based on the ranch furniture set and you can see that I have two pictures here of some of my villagers. So this is Kyle and Chief. Chief doesn't live with me anymore. He moved out of the town quite a long time ago. But Kyle is still here and he's actually one of my favorite villagers and that's mainly because we share the same birthday. So here you can see I have a frog outfit as well as the captain outfit and some delicious holiday food right here too. So this is the Rococo furniture set and it's in this blue tinge that I got from Cyrus and it's just so dramatic and I also really like this um, creepy statue on the corner. So this is the Alpine furniture set and I also have the Brewster gyroids in the back as well as the Rossetti brother pictures above the fireplace and a picture of Flora and Whitney in this room. I think it's quite nice and very homely. So in the basement, I have the cabana furniture set, and I remember this was so difficult to get because you can only get it from visiting islands. So I remember I tried to visit maybe between 30 and 40 islands in one day just to get the cabana floor, which was the last item I needed. And I've also customized this with the gold ores, which also took a very long time to get. And I just have these lucky cats in different arrangements, as well as some cat towers. And of course, Maui statues to greet you. You'll notice that this is a small theme that I have in my town. So upstairs is the mermaid room. And actually the song that's playing in this room is one of my favorites, Bubblegum KK. And I just also have a lovely phone which tells your fortune for the day. So let's get started with the town tour. So first there's some no trees that I've decided to decorate the entrance of my house with. And you'll quickly notice that my native fruit is pears because I have all these perfect pear trees right down here near my bamboo forest shoot. So this is just an orchard of some of the other fruits that you can get in New Leaf. And a little Eiffel Tower, Public Works, a bench and a hammock that you can rest at. And this is also another orchard, but it's the tropical fruits that you can get from the islands. And I just have Almost every single space in my town filled with flowers, and this half of the town is all red flowers. So I'll go down to the beach. As you can see, I have some no running signs because my town is filled with flowers, so I just don't want any of them to get trampled. 
And here you'll see I store all of my rare and hybrid flowers because I don't have a place to keep most of them. And I guess I'm missing a few pink roses, but I have a bunch of black and blue roses here too. And so some background on my history with New Leaf. So I got the game on July, no, sorry, June 13th of 2013, which is not that long after it came out in America. And I basically played almost every day for a year to a year and a half. And I pretty much just stopped playing. I played Pocket Camp a little, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to New Horizons. And I have a bell right here. I'll bring that. Also some really cute light up sculptures. These are adorable, as well as the um, light up clock here. You can see my retail is here, and I've lined this side of the town with tree trunks that I've cut down with the silver axe, so they have um, special designs on the trunks. And this is also where my RV site is. I don't really know what it's for. I stopped playing the game well before the Amiibo update came out, and I don't own any Amiibo cards or figures, so I've never utilized that part of the game. And as I've said, Maui statues line my town on this side. I think they're probably my favorite public works to build. They just look so bizarre and interesting. Hi Anka, how are you? So I'll actually go ahead and list the villagers that I have in my town. I have Whitney, Skye, Flora, Kyle, Julian, Lucky, Hamlet, Deirdre, Anka, and so that's only nine villagers. That's because Wolfgang, who was my 10th, he recently moved out. When I started the game, it said that he had left, so that's a little sad. But here is my other perfect pear orchard, and You'll notice that this is Kyle's house. So Kyle is again my favorite villager. He's the only one that lives on this side of the, the town with me. All the other villagers are on the other side of the river. So here you will see this is um so my second townsperson that I made called Tina. It's just to store more furniture because I was running out of place to put all my furniture. So let's take a look. So I'm not sure what all these furniture sets are um, called, but I know that I think all of them come from Gracie's store. So her, the furniture that she sells is seasonal and I managed to pick up all of them. This is this room. So this is another different furniture set from Gracie. And there's also a mannequin with the Gracie outfit. And this is the princess furniture set. I really like it. I like that it has a blue um, aura of the room. So back here is the sweets room. Looks delicious. This is a pretty unique furniture set. It's also from Gracie. It's just the cards, but I think they look really cool. And like I said, Maui statues are a theme in my town. So I decided to fill this basement just full of Maui statues. Kinda creepy, right?
So as you can see, this half of the town is white flowers, and this is um, Whitney's house, and Deirdre lives right next to her. My train station is up here, and I have more no running signs just to remind my visitors. I have a fountain here, Laura's walking around, and I also have placed Rossetti's little manhole over here. This strange looking cube is here too, and more of the tree trunks with um, the special markings from the silver axe. So let's see, this is Anka's house, and Lucky is actually right next to it. So this is a sphinx which I built in memory or in celebration of Anka. And my little campsite is here, Ooh, someone placed a red flower in my white area. So that does happen because my villagers do plant a lot of flowers because I have the beautiful town ordinance obviously with this many flowers in my town I don't want to water them so the beautiful town ordinance prevents them from molting and you know even if I don't play for months or years my town still looks pretty great I also have this little water pump for the campers even though the water just ends up pouring straight onto my concrete path And here is Skye's house, and this is Flora's house. So Flora is actually the only original villager that remains in my town. She was there when I first started as mayor of this town. And this is one annoying thing about my town. I have this police station that I built before the before I ended up putting down all the paths in my town and it's one tile off and I can't move it so that's one thing I'm looking forward to in New Horizons is the ability to be able to move all of the villagers houses as well as the buildings and this lower half of the town is actually filled with yellow flowers and Julian lives here and Hamlet actually lives right next to him and you'll see I have the flower clock here and Brewster is working here in the cafe Ooh, a balloon we built the lighthouse over here so this is actually where Wolfgang's house used to be I didn't have enough yellow flowers to fill it so I just ended up putting some path and I built a little pyramid here and that's because one of my favorites lives down here Lucky the mummified dog so Lucky is actually an OG he used to live in my wild little town which was you know I played that when I was in like third grade so that was quite a bit ago let's go down to this beach so you can see that this beach just has alternating flowers in different colors as well as alternating coconut and banana trees. So that was all for my tour. I hope you liked it. If you want to explore my town more, I'll definitely leave my dream address in the description box, so check that out. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. I plan on filming some New Horizons content when it comes out, and also follow me on Instagram. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thank you.